Hey guys, it's your favorite medical channel, Medicosis Perfectionals, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our playlist on bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous video, I've talked about hemophilia A, which had a problem with factor 8. Today, we'll talk about hemophilia B, with a problem in factor 9. So with that said, now let's get started. Let me answer the question of the previous video. A 5-year-old female, 46XX, has severe symptoms of hemophilia. Her factor 8C activity is very low. Please explain. In the comments section, someone told me, how about Turner syndrome? Turner is absolutely right. If I have Turner syndrome, I have 1X, so an X-linked recessive disease will also affect me even though I was supposed to be a carrier. There's only one problem. Turner syndrome will not be 46XX. Turner syndrome, in fact, will be 45, XO. Or you can write it this way, 43 plus XO. O is for zero. So what's the correct answer? We have two correct answers or two possibilities. First possibility is the abnormal inactivation or leonization of the normal X chromosome. So normally, females have XX, but they only need one X. So they will inactivate one of them and will leave the other one active. So if I have an abnormal one and a normal one, I should inactivate the abnormal one and leave the normal one active. Yeah, but if I have abnormal inactivation or lionization of the normal X chromosome, I have inactivated the normal and now I'm left with the normal chromosome being active, causing the symptoms of hemophilia. There is another possibility. What is this? Her mother is a carrier for hemophilia A and her father has hemophilia disease. Her father will give her the abnormal X chromosome, there is no question about it, and there is a 50% chance that her mother will give her the abnormal X chromosome. In this case, she will suffer from actual disease, not a carrier, but actual hemophilia disease. So these are the two possibilities. That's a solid question, man. Now, hemophilia is the royal disease because Queen Victoria, actually her daughters had, were carriers for hemophilia B, not A, but it's okay. Both of them are X-linked recessive diseases. Please watch my previous video to learn about this freaking medically relevant dynasty. Okay, so normally, normally, what should happen when I bleed? Uh, I should clot by primary hemostasis, thank you platelets, and secondary hemostasis, thank you coagulation factors. But if I have hemophilia, I have problems with secondary hemostasis. By the way, we have a pharmacology marathon on Facebook. Please join us. Gazillion questions are available and will be available soon. So where is the problem in hemophilia? It's with the coagulation, with the secondary hemostasis, specifically with factor 8, if this is hemophilia A. Factor 9, if this is hemophilia B. Skip 10 and go to factor 11, this is hemophilia C. Hemophilia A and B are X-linked recessive, but hemophilia C is autosomal recessive. When I say X-linked recessive, what should you think of? Boys. It's gonna be way, way, way more common in males than females. When I say autosomal recessive, what should you think of? consanguinity. So we have established that hemophilia is a problem with secondary hemostasis. Okay, is it intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway problem? It's an intrinsic pathway problem. That's why APTT will be prolonged. However, PT for the extrinsic pathway will be absolutely normal. So whether the problem is in factor 8, 9 or 11, all of them, and I mean all of them, are in the intrinsic pathway. Here is primary hemostasis, but we do not care about this right now. Hemophilia A is a problem with factor 8. Hemophilia B is a problem with factor 9. How about hemophilia C? We have a problem with factor 11. Please skip 10 because 10 is here in the common pathway. Coagulation factors, numbers, names, and diseases. We have talked about a fibrogenemia before, hypoprothrombinemia before. Remember, a fibrogenemia could be bleeding, could be clotting. How about hyperthrombinemia? Always bleeding. How about factor 5? We have two different diseases. We have parahemophilia, it's called parahemophilia, so bleeding. And there is another disease called factor 5 laden clotting, thrombosis, baby specifically, venous thromboembolism or VTE. Hemophilia A is factor 8. Hemophilia B is factor 9. Hemophilia C is factor 11. Thank you so much. Hemophilia A, the factor is called anti-hemophilic factor, and this is known as classic hemophilia. How about hemophilia B? This is Christmas disease, and the factor is factor 9 or Christmas factor. Why do we call it Christmas disease? Because the first patient was Stephen Christmas. Hemophilia C is a problem with factor... 11, and this is called the plasma thromboplastin antecedent. 
all hemophilias have problems with secondary hemostasis, problems with coagulation factors, expect a problem with your fibrin thrombus, PT, PTT, and TT, but all hemophilias are in intrinsic pathway. That's why PTT is prolonged. Anatomical or deep tissue bleeding is the main symptom, including joint hemorrhage called hemarthrosis, muscle hemorrhage called muscle hematoma, brain hemorrhage, late bleeding, bleeding after tooth extraction, bleeding after surgery, and retroperitoneal bleeding. Here are the symptoms of hemophilia as we have talked about before. Hemophilia A or classic hemophilia is an X-linked recessive disease. The problem is with factor 8 activity. It could be a deficiency of the factor or an inhibitor against the factor. How do we tell the difference? A mixing study. Hemophilia B is Christmas disease, is an X-linked recessive disease. We have a problem with factor 9. It could be a deficiency or an inhibitor. How do I tell the difference? A mixing study. Hemophilia C or Rosenthal syndrome is an autosomal recessive disease remember consanguinity but with excellent recessive disease remember boys hemophilia c has a problem with factor 11 could be a deficiency could be an inhibitor how do i tell the difference mix the patient's blood with normal blood or normal plasma now hemophilia b or christmas disease i have a video called christmas in medicine it was epic the clock is running, make the most of today, time waits for no man, yesterday's history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, that's why it's called the present. Okay, medicosis, does Christmas disease have anything to do with Christmas? No. It just happened that the first patient where we discovered Christmas disease was called Stephen Christmas. Here is Stephen Christmas, born in London, emigrated to Canada, went back to visit London, experienced bleeding. They took him to Oxford Hemophilia Center, which sounds sophisticated. They ordered factor 8 level because the only hemophilia that we know about by that time was hemophilia A. Factor 8 level was normal. Oh, what? How about factor 8 activity? Normal. How about like uh, an inhibitor to the fact? Uh, nope. A mixing study with a patient containing factor 8. So we added factor 8. Uh, still normal. What? But the PTT is prolonged. Wow. How about we mix Steven's plasma with normal plasma? Oh, normalized. What? And it's not factor 8? What's going on here? And then they discovered that it was factor 9. And this was called hemophilia B because B comes after A. No, duh. Or Christmas disease. Owing to the fact of Stephen Christmas. And then he went back to Canada. He was dependent on multiple blood transfusion because of his hemophilia. They did not screen the blood for HIV back then. He developed HIV and died from HIV in 1993. What a sad story. But hey, medicosis, why didn't they screen the blood for HIV? What happened to Canada? Calm down, dude. HIV AIDS is a relatively new disease. It was discovered in 1981. They simply did not know. At least extend an olive branch around the maple syrup leaf. I'm so sorry, just messing with my Canadian friends. Okay, so hemophilia A, factor 8, baby. How about hemophilia B, factor 9, hemophilia C, factor 11. Thank you. Here is hemophilia B in a nutshell, and then we'll dig deeper. Genetic disease, there is decreased factor 9 activity. Could be, a deficiency could be, an inhibitor. How do you tell the difference? Mixing study, excellent recessive, therefore boys, bleeding, deep bleeding, anatomical bleeding, joint bleeding, muscle bleeding, hematomas, retroperitoneal bleeding, intracranial bleeding, etc. How about bleeding time in hemophilia B? Absolutely normal. How about platelet count? Absolutely normal. How about PT for extrinsic pathway normal ptt prolonged because the problem is in the intrinsic pathway factor 9 activity is always low how about factor 9 level it freaking depends if the patient has a deficiency of factor 9 factor 9 level will be low but if the patient has an inhibitor against factor 9 then factor 9 level will be normal so it freaking depends Please remember that von Willebrand disease had a problem with von Willebrand factor, and of course, von Willebrand factor used to help factor 8. Hemophilia A, factor 8. Hemophilia B, factor 9. Hemophilia C, factor 11. Thank you. How do we manage hemophilia B? Factor 9. Concentrate. Hep B vaccine. If the patient didn't have the deficiency but indeed had the antibodies against factor 9, you should give factor 9A, the active factor 9. Do not give the inactive factor 9. It will get absolutely smashed by the antibodies. Give the active form of 9A. Maybe you will override the boat. 
And here is everything related to Christmas in medicine. Christmas disease, hemophilia B, glove and stocking. Distribution, this is diabetic neuropathy. Christmas tree pattern is pteriasis rosea. Reindeer, we have the deer tick, which infects deer and mice. Exodes scapularis, which can carry Borrelia burgdorferi, Lyme disease. Babesia microtii, not to be confused with Babesia mice crotii. This is babesiosis, anaplasma, phagocytal phyllyticum. This is anaplasmosis, ehrlichia, whatever, ehrlichiosis. The same stinking tick can carry Powassan virus, causing Powassan virus disease. Bells, jingle bells, bells palsy, bilateral bells palsy, is seen in Lyme disease, by the way. Snow, acrocyanosis and hemosis, this is called agglutinin disease. Snowman on a chest x-ray is... Let me know the answer in the comment section. Snowstorm on pelvic ultrasound is hydatidiform mold. Also, snowstorm and snowflakes all over the lung field on chest x-ray is mercury poisoning. And if your professor knew this, I will retire from YouTube and work for a garbage company. Because here at Medicosis Perfectionalis, we make house MD look tame. Hemophilia B is congenital, it's inherited, it's hereditary, it's excellent criticism, therefore, males, 1 in 25,000 males. Okay, how about hemophilia A? It was 1 in every 10,000 males. Pathophase, there is decreased factor 9 activity due to deficiency or inhibitor clinically, it's the deep bleeding sometimes, we can have mucocutaneous bleeding as well. Plate count is normal, bleeding time is normal, factor 9 activity is low, factor 9 level could be low in deficiency or normal if it's an inhibitor. Mixing study, if it normalizes, it means there was a deficiency. If it did not normalize, it's an inhibitor. PT is normal. PTT is prolonged because of the intrinsic pathway. TT is normal because the common pathway is fine. Coagulation time is prolonged. Coagulation factor engulfs all of these previous three. No one does coagulation time anymore. Treatment. Plasma-derived factor 9 concentrate. Recombinant factor 9. Or, if the patient has an inhibitor, give them factor 9A. Active. Thanks for the three students that got my antibiotics course yesterday. This discount is still available for 12 students. Use the promo code antibiotics25 to get 25% discount towards my course. Go to medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for supporting my work. And back to our glorious comparison table. Here is hemophilia. What's plate count? Normal. How about bleeding time? Also normal. How about PT? Normal. PTT? Prolonged. Hemophilia is depicted in the Spikmonic by He-Man File, the famous cartoon character. It's a genetic mutation. Here are some mutant genes. There is prolonged bleeding. There is pain. The pain bolts and heme arthrosis. Here is heme and roses. How should we treat it? Clotting factor replacement therapy. Here is the clot replacing its shoe. Beautiful. Desmopressin can help, especially with hemophilia A, because desmopressin helps the von Willebrand expression, which will help factor 8. We can try antifibrinolytic therapy depicted by the anti-fiber lights. Analgesics for the pain depicted by A, nail, JZ. These pycmonic guys are creative. Genetic counseling is important and prevent the injury, because even a skin scratch can lead to severe bleeding. This is Picmonic. Please go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis and they will hook you up with hundreds of Picmonics. Learning medicine has never been easier. In the next video, we'll talk about hemophilia C, the autosoma recessive disease. And I will tell you why autosoma recessive is associated with consanguinity and what does that mean for doctors. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to get my antibiotics course and go to Picmonic if you want to learn medicine in a funny way. And by the way, it's going to stick in your memory. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. In the next video, we'll talk about hemophilia C.